Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome to our trailer reaction for trailer number two of Pinocchio. Live action Pinocchio. Live live action Pinocchio. <laughs> I want to be a real boy. Uh, I, uh, I do actually want to be a real boy at some point <laughs> in time in my life. Uh, we missed the first one for whatever strange reason. I don't remember why. We just skipped it or whatever. But this is the first big, proper two-minute-plus trailer. Okay. Tom Hanks. <laughs> Pinocchio. Go. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the eighth wonder of the world. America's dad. <laughs> Actually, the world's dad. Yeah. Hello, Pops. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jumping keepers. An almost real boy. <laughs> Turn around. Let me get a look at you. I will be right here <laughs> when you get back. Pinocchio is running around loose without a conscience. Can you imagine the trouble he's gonna get into? Wouldn't want that on my conscience. Everybody who's anybody wants to be a somebody. But I want to be real. Why on earth would you want to be real when you can be famous? A star. Pinocchio should have been home by now. Well, maybe not. Let him well, hello. <laughs> he won't be a puppet anymore. That's for sure. Pinocchio, be brave. Truthful. Non selfish. Always be my real boy. He, he almost said it. Yeah, kind of almost. <laughs> really change a person, Pinocchio. Oh, what's happening, Jiminy? Looks like some sort of fairy magic. Kind of on the nose, if you ask me. <laughs> but <I'm wrong. laughs> listen, listen to Jiminy, Jiminy Cricket being the the voice of reason well, around here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he kind of always was, right? Yeah. Um. Okay, I I, I want to preface with everything that I'm about to say with I did not grow up a, Giz, a Disney kid. Right. I grew up uh, Looney Tunes, Hanna-Barbera, George of the Jungle, uh, Wallace and the Mad Mo Show kind of kid. So um, I think I've seen parts of Pinocchio. <laughs> Shame on you. I know I'm a <laughs> terrible person. I think I've seen Fantasia more than I've seen any of the other Disney because, original Disney movie because Disney. we owned it and yeah made our children and grandchildren watch it yeah yeah uh, and it's only really with our grandkids that I've watched more of the Pixar Disney animation stuff right some of the newer stuff some of yeah. the newer stuff yep. and stuff like that yep. um, also a lot of the transition from uh, cartoon to live action hasn't hit with as many people um a lot of people who are taking their kids grew up with the animation stuff and they are coming back and telling these live action versions, live actions again with Cody fingers. Right. <laughs> um, uh, and people are either complaining they're changed too much or that they are exactly the same script. And, and a lot of people on both sides have valid arguments about why it doesn't work for them. Right. But their kids love it. And that's really all that Disney cares about. Right. <laughs> just, they just want you to go see it. And I mean, one, one way or the other, right. They either change stuff around and then they've changed too much or they don't right. change anything and try to be faithful to the original. And then they have uh, like, you're not going to make everybody happy. So, I, I, but with all of that, I actually am in more intrigued with this one. I was much more intrigued with uh, Mulan, which didn't hit with us as well as it did with other people. I'm more intrigued along the same lines of Mulan because Tom Hanks and the animation. The I'm, I'm going to say it. It's 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 a hybrid. It's CGI mm -hmm. characters, animation, mm -hmm. but it looks a lot better than something like 
Um, they were still trying to figure it out. But like, I liked Lion King. I thought it was amazing. It, it was a world beater for me. And I could see the difference sometimes with the animation, the CGI and stuff like that. And this, at least from this trailer, I think there's a nice balance with we know the cartoon version. And so it feels a little bit more like the cartoon with all live action real world people like uh, Geppetto right. and stuff. So right. I think that's I mean, that's kind of not really apples to apples when you're comparing it to Lion King because yeah, yeah, there's no actual human in Lion King. It's right. all it's much more like Cinderella. Yeah, I guess with like the mice and, and stuff. the mice and the clock and the tea kettle, and the teapots and okay, or maybe Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. Maybe it was um, Beauty and the Beast I mean, I I, I loved the John Favreau Lion King. I watched it multiple times. Um, I actually loved the live action Dumbo. Um, I cried, so it works. <laughs> um, you know, I did grow up with all these movies i went and saw a lot of them in the movie theater i remember you know waiting impatiently as a five six seven year old for um for disney to come on it came on every sunday at like six o'clock and um you know if i misbehaved i went to bed early and i didn't get to see it and then i had a tantrum remember that one too so a lot of these movies you know like cinderella and and um pinocchio the older bambi fantasia they would show those maybe once a year once every couple years on uh the wonderful world of disney uh, on tv and that was you know it was like when the wizard of oz came on tv it was this huge thing because you didn't have movies you know you didn't have dvds and you know vhs and cable and you know whatever discs and yeah you (laughs) couldn't you couldn't watch that stuff uh, you know on demand you had to wait impatiently for it to come out on tv and so um i you know like you said uh, tom hanks might lend a little bit to it where i feel like it looks good um I, i mean i if we don't go see it in the movie theater. I'll watch it by myself <laughs> on Disney Plus when but it comes out. It comes out on Disney Plus Day on Disney Plus. Oh, okay. So it's sure. it's one of those like there's again if you don't want to watch it, I will watch it at some point in time by myself. Right, right. <laughs> but I, but there's a ton of other things that are coming out on Disney Plus Day. I'm wondering if this is better with like a theatrical le- release and then like two weeks later come out on Disney Plus. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting that they're not putting it in the movie theater, but um, I don't, I don't know where are, people with kids, with little kids are with taking their kids to the movie theaters right now. I, right. I don't know. You know, right. I know we go to the movies, but um, we don't typically go see these kinds of movies. And the stuff that's coming out on Disney Plus Day is not for little kids. Like, you have multiple TVs, you go put your kids in front of this, and then you go watch the making of Obi-Wan, right? right in the right, other room. Right. Um, so, you know, they're trying to, it's not like we're, they're dumping everything on you and I. Right. They're dumping everything for everybody. Everybody. And that was just, that was one of the things I really have liked about Disney Plus. Well, we're getting to a Disney Plus conversation, apparently. <laughs> but that's one of the things I really liked about Disney Plus is that you've got the six-part documentary series about ILM and the whole making of ILM, yeah. which we find yeah. fascinating. It was amazing. And our grandkids would be bored <laughs> silly within, like, 30 seconds. Our and kids so, even were like, mm, I don't. No, you really need to. No, okay. you need to watch this. Your Star Wars fan, shut up. Sit down. <laughs> You're 35. I don't care. You listen to your parents. Um, <laughs> but but I think with this, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. Dropping it on Disney Plus Day. Here you go, kids. Here's Pinocchio. I love this as a kid. Tom Hanks is the planet's dad. I'm right. making that joke. Right. And we're going to go be in the other room and watch the thing that we want to watch, which is Lo- Love and Thunder. Or yeah. the documentary about making the Love and Thunder. Or the Kenobi thing or yeah. whatever. And so I... I I really am appreciating what Disney Plus is doing. I just feel like what they did with this, if the pandemic didn't happen, this is a mid-September, this is a, this is a 
May 5th, May 12th Maybe. drop or even as a, the kids get out of school. Even a Christmas time? Or Christmas, yeah. yeah. That was the other thing I was going to think. Something where the kids are out of school. But with the pandemic and kind of everybody wanting to... More comfortable staying at home. I think this makes a little bit more sense for them to drop this year because I think they'll get more clicks out of this than they will, in the grand scheme of things, putting it out in September in the theater. Yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know what it hurts to put it to do both. You know, I, yeah. fe- I feel like uh, there's not a lot coming out in the movie theaters. We're we're in a huge lull right now. Um, there's some stuff that we want to go see. Um, but we're seeing Rogue One, Rogue One again in the, in the IMAX and because IMAX, yeah. we didn't see it in IMAX the first time. But we have, you know, the A list, so we can basically go see it for free. So I think I don't know what what would it have hurt to put it in movie theaters too. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they have some metric or whatever that they haven't figured out. But overall, I think it looks really good. I think it. I think it's going to be interesting. Interesting to see them retell the story and i think that with tom hanks that's the selling point for and robert zemeckis i forgot yeah. to mention that <laughs> yeah. robert zemeckis is doing it with I mean, tom hanks and and so you know it's it's the epitome of disney i mean disneyland is in the the movie right it's, right i mean it's not but it is it is it's, it is and they even play the what we know is the Disney music, right? Right. The well, when you wish upon a star, star is right. from that's, Pinocchio, right? right. But yeah, that's, it's that's very the Disney. Cinderella music. and when you wish upon a star are the epitome yep. of Disney. Yep. Yep. So, uh, I'm actually surprised too that they're not waiting till to do something at D23 with this, which is like the next week. Yeah, I'm sure they've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> it might be actually D23 <laughs> might be that week. I bet you, D, I think D23 is that week. Like, the starts the 5th. It was the 5th to the 9th. Of, okay. Or something like that. Okay. Or the 9th to the 12th or something like that. So they will do something. Yeah. yeah that, makes, that would make sense. Yeah. Disney Plus Day, D23, all kind of happening at the yeah. same time now. Well, I'm working it out. I'm working it out. <laughs> He's getting there. So let us know what you thought of the... I'm, I'm going to workshop it after we get done with this. Um... <laughs> So let us know what you thought of the trailer in our discussion of Disney Plus in the comments down below. Please be nice. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, and follow us on all the social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.